Cozy isn't a style, it's an emotion, and we all want it when we come home. We all want to feel comfortable, relaxed, and we want our home to feel cozy. So it doesn't matter whether your style is modern, contemporary, classic, we all love the idea of having a cozy home. So how do you achieve your cozy home? I have great tips for you. My first tip is lighting. Anyone in the lighting world will agree, lighting is an integral part of any design scheme, but it's also crucial when making your home feel cozy. So you can be really interesting with lights. You don't need to just have one central light. We have, for example, at home, three pendant lights above our dining table. We have different lights all throughout the house. We've got wall lights, lamps, you know, and all of that different layering of lighting is really important for creating a really beautiful mood and a really cozy feel. Other than just layering up with lighting, you also need to consider how warm your lighting is. You have cooler lighting and you've got warmer lighting. And knowing, you know, which is right for you and which is right for your home is really important. You tend to want to have slightly warmer lighting than cool in your home environment because a cool lighting can feel more sterile and a little bit more clinical. So veering towards that warmer lighting is your best bet. My final lighting tip would be to really try to make sure that your lighting flows within your space. So you know it works with everything else around it. And of course that goes for everything else in interior design, but it really is nice with lights not to have them as this sort of bold piece sticking out unless you are specifically wanting it to be a feature, but to have the lighting sort of melt throughout your interiors and melt throughout the home so that it feels your lighting is just flowing with your interiors. Another great way to make your home feel cozy is layering of textiles, and you can do this in so many ways. I love layering with textiles, and you'll see at home, I've got textile upon textile. I mean, even behind me, you can see we've got the lovely upholstery on the sofa with a gorgeous cream fabric, but then just on top of that, we've got these lovely cushions and a throw on top. So that's what I mean when I say layering of textiles. I just mean layering up the fabric, so not only do you see a fabric, on a cushion or on a chair, you actually see that layered up. And I've actually done that throughout my home. On my dining chairs, I've got throws behind every single dining chair and it feels very warm, very inviting. Just this extra sense of layering, which you know feels very special. We've done the same thing on the piano chair. And then throughout the home, we have some really gorgeous throws just laying around on different sofas. We've also got a lovely throw in a basket where we're sort of trying to hide my kids' stuff inside. And it's a really nice way to soften that basket, but of course also to hide everything else underneath. And you know, you'll see cushions throughout the home, cushions in different colors with different textiles, with different trims. And I think all of that is really important just to add to that feeling of layering. And it really does make your home feel less simplistic and more thought through um, and more homely and more warm. And I think that's what we're all trying to get to. Another great way to layer up with textiles is of course through your rugs. Now I've got lovely big rugs throughout my home. I love having rugs everywhere. I really feel they don't just frame a space, but they actually give a lot of warmth to a space. And finally, from a layering of textiles point of view, we cannot forget the beautiful curtain. Now window dressings and, and we call in England um, curtains window dressings. So that means curtains and shears and blinds and everything else that you dress your windows with. They are so important and it's also really important on some windows not to have any window dressings when you're trying to make a specific statement or when you're trying to remove the warmth in a way from that area. But curtains definitely bring in warmth and they definitely embolden a space and make it feel more complete, more warm. They're also making it feel more elegant. The next part is something I'm a little bit obsessed with and it is accessorizing. And I love to accessorize uh, because I'm a little bit of a shopaholic, especially when it comes to interiors. In fact, many things, but definitely interiors. I love creating these little stories when accessorizing. So I'll have a little corner where I'm accessorizing with books. And then I find, I don't know, maybe a candle or a box to put on top of it. And every little area where we're accessorizing can also really help to create storage solutions, create solutions to problems that you might have throughout the house. So accessorizing isn't just fun and beautiful. It also creates great solutions for, you know, decluttering at home, 
But what it definitely does above all else is really make a space feel cozy. There's nothing that feels more homely and warm and you know almost comforting than you know feeling like you're surrounded by objects that are lived and loved you know books uh, small boxes accessorizing with vases not necessarily vases that have any flowers in them accessorizing with candles and just creating these little stories in these different areas of your home it really feels like it all pulls the house together uh, and definitely feels very homely and very cozy now you can be really fun with accessorizing and i know that it doesn't come so easily to everybody you know stacking books might seem really simple but actually you know stacking two books of the same size might not really work in one area but it might work in another area stacking books you know just as a pile may work on their own but actually it might look nicer to have a little open vase on top of those books or a little box it might also look nice to have some open books and some closed books and books are a great way to accessorize because they definitely feel like part of the story of the home and the personality of the home and so not only is it important to have those books but it's important to know the things that everybody loves at home and to make sure that those are the books that you're accessorizing with you know there's nothing worse than just seeing empty books and empty covers you know it might work for a photo shoot but it doesn't necessarily work for that cozy feeling at home another way to really pull in accessorizing with the family and gaining that feeling of warmth and family and coziness is through photo frames. Having photo frames throughout the house of your family, of your children, of your family, your mothers, your fathers, your brothers, sisters, loved ones, even your pets. You know, that's a real way to bring in love through those still images that are just dotted around the home. I love to add in a little bit of rattan accessorizing. It just throws in that extra sort of rustic chic and makes the home feel a little less rigid. You know, it breaks up that feeling of hard finishes and, you know, the more glamorous, elegant space. It can really break things up. And I love to use rattan. I love to use baskets. I throw them in and around the house. I use them whether they're to help declutter. I use them to add in throws. I use them for lots of different reasons, but they are a great way to accessorize. Another way to make a home feel cozy and also to feel more natural is by bringing in plants and flowers. It really does make you feel like you're breathing life into your space. And that is a brilliant way to create that sense of warmth and nature. I mix it up. So I have fresh flowers, faux flowers. I like to use branches. I like to use branches just with leaves. I like to use large displays of, you know, floral hydrangea, just one type of flower in a vase to make everything feel quite fresh and bright. You know, my home's quite neutral. So if I want to add in color, many a time I'll actually add in a color through my florals to bring in that color if I feel like actually I need, you know, I want a color but I don't want to invest in a colorful throw. I'll bring it through the natural elements, through the plants and through the leaves and through the flowers. I love to work with different levels of my vases with the flowers and again that can create some real interest. You know, you can have a low setting vase with, you know, filled with flowers or a much taller vase filled with flowers or a different shaped vase just filled with branches and leaves and each one creates a different effect and I think it's really nice throughout home not just to have one style of vase throughout but to have lots of different styles of vase which I think really helps even if you only like one style of flower and those different levels of vases and layering again makes everything feel a bit more thought through and a bit more warm and cozy. Baskets, why do I love them so much? Well, I feel they kind of weave this sense of warmth into the home. They remind me of the countryside and of course the countryside to me feels homely. It's this additional layer of nature and the outdoors coming inside and I really feel that rustic chic element really can break up you know perhaps the more modern the more elegant the more glamorous and make everything feel like it is home. I also think baskets are such a clever way of helping with things around the home. You know, if you don't have an extra place to put in a throw, but you want to add in that layer of warmth with some extra texture, then of course you can use a basket to store some items and then stick a throw on top, like we've done at home. So, you know, baskets are not just warm and cozy and remind you of the countryside, but they are also very useful. 
Color at home is so important because it's what you look at every single day. You know, this isn't something that you are gonna see for one day. It's not an outfit that you might wear for a whole day, once or twice, five times, 10 times a year. Color inspires emotion. And you know, you've got to be sure about what kind of emotion it is you want to feel when you're home. And given that we're talking about home feeling cozy, it's quite important that you don't have to choose neutral colors, but you definitely choose warmer colors. And there are warmer colors um, that will work for you better than others. I love to layer up neutrals. I like the different tones of neutrals. I like the different shades of them. That doesn't mean there's one color in my home. I've got browns, I've got taupes, I've got grays, I've got golds, I've got silvers, I've got white, but they are all, you know, within this certain classification of that neutral color tone. And to me, that inspires relaxation. And I think you have to know what inspires that feeling of relaxation and comfort and homeliness for you and know that you can live with that color long term day in day out and that's what you've got to choose you know it's always very tempting to go for a crazy bold color that you absolutely love and there are so many colors that i love but you have to know what you can live with every day. Everything we buy in the home tends to be, I don't know, more expensive than an item of clothing. And so in reality, you've got to really think that purchase through and ask yourself, you know, is this something that I can have with me every single day? A more neutral tone definitely can feel more calming. I think that's really something to think about and to make sure that, you know, you've got that right in your home for you. It doesn't mean that my color scheme works for everybody, but it's important to know what color scheme does work for you. Another thing I find that is definitely background interior design for most people, but is so important when you are thinking about a home that's cozy and it's wall design. Are you painting them? Are you adding in artwork, frames, wallpaper, paneling. There are so many different things that you can add onto a wall, but I think what's most important is just to point out they shouldn't be left as an afterthought. They have to become part of the whole scheme, especially when you're trying to make a home feel cozy. You know, look at the colors of your walls, make sure that they, again, inspire a cozy feeling. There are those art walls that actually, because, you know, they are so colorful and they're all brought together, they do look great on a wall and they do make a space feel cozy. So, you know, what works for one wall doesn't necessarily work for another. The most important tip here without knowing what your home looks like is just to make sure you've considered every wall if you really want a space to feel cozy. And it can be as simple as just painting it a color so that you haven't left it without thought. We don't all have space for a fireplace in our homes. I certainly didn't have in my previous home, but I have been very blessed with a fireplace in this home. And I cannot tell you, if you are blessed to have any kind of a fireplace, place, then definitely use it. There is nothing like making a home feel more warm, even when the fireplace is off. So if you've got a fireplace or a fire surround, you know, whether it's a real fire, a bioethanol fire, even some electric fires, which I'm not a huge fan of, but can look really warm and feel very, very cozy. So, you know, if you've got the option of having a fireplace, if you haven't designed that in yet, definitely consider it for a cozy home.